Hi, Chris Westfall here. I want to go over a couple of things with you that may just save your business. Rather than having you lose your license, paying big fines, or just being suspended by the Department of Insurance, which does enforce CMS guidelines as it pertains to Medicare Advantage marketing. So there are some agents out there who believe to this day in 2018 that it's okay to cold call people for a general conversation about their Medicare benefits, whether it's turning 65 folks or people that are older than 65, just cold calling them using telemarketers on the basis of having a conversation about their Medicare benefits. So I want to go over with you how this could jeopardize not only your income, but also your insurance license, which is hopefully your ticket to prosperity in the future. I want to take a look at the most current information and every agent that sells Medicare Advantage should be going through the AHIP training every year that talks about what you can and can't do and there it's made perfectly clear that you cannot do what I'm referring to but I want to go even higher than AHIP because some agents don't take AHIP training. CMS.gov, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services is tasked with enforcing the protections against bad marketing uh, to seniors from agents. So I want to look at the most current information so that there's no question that what I'm talking about doing that some agents are doing right now with their telemarketers is illegal. It is against the law. Let's look real close at two different things. First of all, I want to look at a document that's a, a handy guide that's given out. Do's and don'ts for agents from CMS. I'm going to zoom in here real quick, and then I'm going to look at the 2018 law as it pertains to the calendar year 2018. It came out July of 2017. But first, agents are prohibited, and don't be caught doing the following. You cannot state that you're from Medicare or use Medicare in a misleading manner. I had an agent the other day ask me if it was okay if he called somebody and said, hey, I'm from the Medicare Enrollment Center. Bad idea. That's a potential CMS violation and Social Security violation because it's under the Social Security Act that you can't use the word Medicare in a misleading manner. All it takes is one complaint to be found guilty there and lose your license potentially or pay a huge fine. For example, you cannot state that you're endorsed by Medicare or calling on behalf of Medicare or that Medicare asked them to see if they're a beneficiary. I know agents who have done this don't do it. Now, Again, what I'm talking about here is specific to anybody selling Medicare Advantage plans or Part D drug plans. They're both one and the same as far as their marketing requirements go. We're not talking about the marketing of Medicare supplements, which is wholly different. And, and a lot of this stuff you can do with Medicare supplements. You can't pretend you're from Medicare, but you can cold call for Medicare supplements, except in Ohio. So... Uh, can't solicit door-to-door. -door. Again, this is Medicare Advantage. You cannot do that. It's a violation of CMS rules. You cannot send unwanted emails, text messages, or leave voicemails for Medicare Advantage. You cannot approach people in, medic in common areas, but they get away with that in, in pharmacies with a loophole there. But here's what I want to skip down to. You cannot make unwanted calls, including contacting people with Medicare, under the guise of selling a non-Medicare Advantage product and allow the conversation to turn into Medicare Advantage. This is pretty clear, folks. An example, an agent cannot begin by selling a Medicare supplement plan and then turn the conversation into Medicare Advantage. Some agents are still under the, the old rule thinking that as long as you're knocking on the door or you're calling on the phone, and your intention is to go in there on Medicare supplement that you're okay. That, hey, you know, they just drove the conversation into Medicare Advantage. I'll set another appointment, I'll write a scope of appointment up, and I'll be okay. What you don't remember is that Medicare is going to do an audit. One day it's coming, and they're going to ask you how you got all these people. And if you say, and I've seen agents do this and they've lost their license, saw it a lot in Florida where it's all Medicare Advantage. They'll do all these kinds of things to get in there, turning 65, knocking on doors, calling. Say, oh, I'm talking about Medicare supplements because it's legal to do this for Medicare supplements. And then all their sales ended up coming from telemarketing or door knocking. So this is a nice thing from CMS saying do's and don'ts. Don't do this. So let's go over to 
today's regulation. This is from CMS.gov, Medicare Health Plans, Medicare Marketing. So this is for calendar year 2018, the marketing guidelines for Medicare. Okay, Medicare Advantage, Part D drug plans. Now this is issued in July, as it usually is for the following year, which is for 2018. It's the most current information out there. I'm going to skip down to the agent part. This talks about plan sponsors, Part D drug sponsors, and all that. But this is specific to insurance agents not the sponsors. We can zoom in here. This is 80.4.1 telephonic contact. Agents may contact their own clients and plan Darby sponsors may contact current enrollees at any time to discuss plan business. Here's the important part. Prohibited telephonic activities include, but are not limited to, the following. Prohibited. Bait and switch strategies making unsolicited calls about other business as a means of generating leads for Medicare Advantage plans. Even you can't call based on referrals for Medicare Advantage. If an individual would like to refer their friend or relative to a Medicare plan, the agent may provide contact information so the individual can give it to their friend, making it an inbound call, but you cannot call these people and say that they're a referral. So what I just want to drive home is the point that agents have lost their license and have paid big fines for going in under the guise of a bait and switch strategy, saying that they're making the unsolicited telephone call to talk about Medicare supplements, which in and of itself would be completely fine, would be fine, except in Ohio where they say you can't call on any Medicare plans over the phone, but everywhere else, you're fine calling cold calls with, with a Medicare supplement. And we have telemarketers in the Philippines that do that all the time, great. However, if all of your Medicare Advantage sales, if a significant number of your Medicare Advantage sales, if any of your Medicare Advantage sales are coming from the origin of you having your telemarketer call and have a conversation about Medicare that got you in the house, and then you suddenly think that you're going to clean sheet that by writing a scope of appointment form, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. So what do you do? If you're going to do Medicare Advantage marketing, you better be compliant and have a Medicare Advantage marketing method approved by your carrier and your upline as to what you're going to be doing because they're going to hold you to account. And not only can you lose all the revenue that you made, but you could pay huge fines and lose your future income as a result of having a flawed marketing strategy. Now, we are all about using cold calling for Medicare supplement sales, using online lead strategies, using direct mail still works. It's very, very expensive. Using seminars, door knocking for turning 65. If that's your boat, go for it for Medicare supplement business. For Medicare Advantage, just want to be crystal clear, as of 2018, it is illegal. Now, this may change in the future, and if so, I'll take this video down, and that's great if they let us do Medicare Advantage marketing the same way they do Medicare supplements. But there are inherent risks with allowing a senior to sign up with something with just the stroke of a pen on Medicare Advantage that lends itself to unscrupulous marketers out there who will do anything and everything to get in front of seniors to give them that pitch. Therefore, CMS put these extra rules in place to protect the seniors from unscrupulous marketers. And the best thing we can do is go by these guidelines. If you're gonna go Medicare Advantage, that's fine. Just do it legally. If you're gonna do Medicare supplements, the world is your oyster. Marketing's wide open, but don't use one for the other because you will get caught. You will pay a very significant price to include maybe losing your income in the future, your ability to make money in the future. So I just want to encourage you plenty of ways to do marketing legitimately and, and go for it, do them. But what you should not do at any point is what's wrong because if you get your business based on a premise of doing the wrong kind of marketing early, it's hard to get out of it later. It just becomes too easy. And you think you're outsmarting the system. You're not. Uh, we talked today with a couple of uh, compliance departments with these carriers, the, the biggest ones out there, and they said they will drop you in a heartbeat 
if they find out this is what you're doing. So you might want to check on that. Check with your carrier and say, hey, if I happen to be on a cold call for Medicare supplement and the conversation just drifts over, you might be opening yourself up to an audit and they're going to find out and expose your marketing strategy for getting that Medicare Advantage business. But I want every agent to succeed. I want every agent to make a lot of money in this business. And you can. You just have to do things the right way to get started. My name is Chris Westfall over at MedicareAgentTraining.com. If you're looking for a telemarketer, if you're looking for someone to generate business for you on the Medicare supplement side, because it is completely legal, check out TrainedTelemarketers.com where you can find out how you can hire your own telemarketer or allow TrainedTelemarketers.com to do that for you. So all you have to do is focus on what you're good at, which is selling. Have a great day. Bye-bye.